After much soul-searching and internal deliberation, I decided, in what uh, is probably a dangerous decision I will regret, I uh, opened another beer. I did something interesting at the beer shop, the beer shop, you know, where you get your beer. I did something interesting at the beer shop today. I bought four different cans of beer, only like one of which I've ever had before. The last one was... Zuber? 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 It had like a, an ox on the front. Uh, that was okay. Honestly, that was just a standard sort of beer. It was good. I just didn't find it memorable. I'm now drinking... Zyzvik, I suppose? It's Z-Y-W-I-E-C. And intriguingly, it says brewed only in... Z-Y-W-I-E-C, and the Z has an accent on it, I should say. So, I'm fairly sure this is Polish, I guess. Oh my god. It really says only brewed in this... Is this a mysterious country I've never heard of before? I assume it's a city rather than a country. I've been completely distracted now. Brewed using three ingredients. Brewed using pure mountain water. Ooh. Well, we may never know where this beer is from, but I suspect Poland. But uh, it's good, actually. It's got a nice sort of... Um, I'm not good at describing beers. Uh, this is now the beer podcast, by the way. Um, <laughs> mm. I like to have little asides like this, just to mix things up. It's got a sort of sharpness to it, which is quite interesting. Maybe that's the pure mountain water from... Zviz... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. It's just gonna get more racist the more I try and pronounce it. So let's move swiftly on. I'll just take one more quick glug of Zvivik, and then we'll move on. Mm. <laughs> Wherever you're from, you are. They make a good beer there, apparently. Okay, now we've drunk enough pure mountain water beer. Uh, what happened last time? The hit and run, which wasn't a hit and run. Yeah, that was that was a good one. That was a nice twist. I'm finding this game quite easy now that I know the trick of how to do the interviews. It's actually quite easy. Um, we haven't had an actual interrogation in a while, I think. Just... Odd man out. It's always a bit of a gamble drinking during these videos. Because uh, I make slips of the tongue, that's one danger is I sometimes say things I regret and have to edit out later. But I also, I get very distracted if I'm playing drunk. Kaiser, what? What does that mean? What, what am I doing? We're on it, Captain. Oh! It's a stolen vehicle, okay. Fucking guess we're still traffic, aren't we? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm getting sick of these traffic jobs. It's barely the last one. I was gonna say, cold is not. Oh god, sorry. I hope this isn't the ladies' bathroom. I'll just walked into accidentally. Can we go this way? No, it has to go this way. Is there anything interesting to see in this police department? Probably not. It's not like Yonako. There's nothing to do. How do I get out of here? Is it this way? Okay, that was locked apparently. No, it must be this way. It must be this way. No, stop. Something about this room, you sort of autopilot into it as you walk past. No. It was this way, actually. This looks familiar. Oh, exit! There's a big sign that says exit. That's the clue. Ugh. Oh, after all that stress, I need a hot dog. Can you buy hot dogs? Hello. I would like to buy... I'd like to buy a hot dog, please. If you didn't hear that, I said the main reason Santa's so jolly is he knows where all the bad girls live. And I'm like, you realise he gives presents to children, primarily. <laughs> That's not creepy at all. Where are we going? Oh, it's almost a straight line. It's, it's a fair distance, but it's almost a straight line, so I think we'll manage. 
Beep, beep, beep. Oh, excuse me. Da na 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 na. Cole Phelps. Da na 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 na. Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps. Well. Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. Look at me turn the wheel. I'm crazy. Get out of my way. That was fun. That was lucky. There was no one in the way. I like how they reflect on their previous cases and how the papers reacted to them. That's quite nice. Oh. I don't think we've had any women murdered so far yet. It's all been dudes so far, hasn't it? That's surprising. I'm waiting for the moment where this game gets gets dark, because someone did say to me, just be aware, it gets real at one point. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's a stolen car. We're gonna. Oh wow! This is exciting start of the adventure. So shoot to kill. Yeah, that's the impression. This is the green car, isn't it? Yes. Yep. I got confused. I thought that was someone's name when the guy first said it, but it's apparently a make of car. I don't know. Kaiser Fraser. Oh. I like the car physics and how the doors bounce around and can bounce off your car and stuff, that's nice. Oh my god, will you just stop? Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Uh, I think that did it. <laughs> Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Um I th out of the car now. I'll call it in. Get out of the car, come on. Give it up, LAPD. Oh, there you are. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Acting like a suspicious bastard. Car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Is it from that car dealership earlier? Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Hmm. Well, your car's a write-off now, and whose fault is that? You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Well, he seems sincere. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Hmm. This is a forgery. It's top notch. This will need to be traced. Suspicious. Uh, I don't. I don't know what that means. Okay, I think we've had enough of that now. But why did you run away? You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Um. Okay, I'm I'm doubting you. you better give us something, Cliff. Or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Uh, the wackiest. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Um I don't know why he'd lie about something like that. He made out the bill of sale personally. Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Okay. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car. If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out. You, you're being arrested for running away from the police. <laughs> You know, considering we just let him off for drug possession, you think he'd be a bit more grateful? Um, hang on. Wait, where are we going? Coombs Automotive. Coombs Automotive. 
Seems a little bit of, yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, I'm, I'm detective in here, I'm sorry, I don't know why that's such a funny running joke to me. Oh, it's all the way over there, I can't be bothered. You drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. I need to pick my nose, you drive. Convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. Who? Uh -huh. I just got that in my head because of Broadway. I don't know how the rest of the song goes. I just know that. Oh. Watch out, mister, because I'm about to slash all my prices. That's an obscure one. If you get that, well done. Ah, oh, I just had to blow my nose there. You didn't notice because I muted the microphone. Um, Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. <laughs> That's a joke. Son. Oh God, why would you make that joke when we already suspect that your cars are stolen? Green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. It's right over here. What? What? <laughs> At the Ministry of Silly Walks, apparently. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was looking at for a second when he started walking like that. I thought maybe the animation had bugged or something. That was quite surreal. At least his office is suitably shitty. Yeah, okay. Do you wanna do you wanna I look for the ideal customer, son, and you ain't halfway dumb enough. Okay, do I do I sit down? There we go. If you'll just have a look at this handgun. Ding ding Hmm. It's almost too obvious that this guy's just selling stolen cars. Okay. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Interesting. North Fremont Avenue. Hmm. Okay. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Have you ever committed any crimes? What? What? Me? What? 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 Me? Crimes? What? What? Crimes? You're the criminals here. <laughs> no. What's um? Details of transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Um, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and doubt that. You need to give us something, Coombs, if you don't want to be implicated in this. Yap, yap, yap. Son, your problem is that your gums keep flapping, but you do no listening. Hmm, okay, I fucked that up. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26? A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. <laughs> That's such a funny description, I assume he's telling the truth. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. We get to know the place. She's a small town girl living in a lonely world, you know. Hmm. Even this guy's picture is boring. This was all above board. Yes. Of course it was. <laughs> I didn't... Me commit crimes? <laughs> you know what I have to do is I have to find that footage of Trump doing that ridiculous face he did once. He just he just did this ridiculous face and it's kind of been a bit of a meme ever since. Mm, sorry, I just had to wipe my nose. Got a cold probably. Or maybe I'm sick of all these lies. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? 
I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Come on, all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Combs. Okay, he's up to something. There's something going on with this lady. He bought the car off of it. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. Still too low. Try not to get shot. Hmm. Well, we'll Double check all the paperwork. Who's it made out to? We have to go to this lady. And where is she? She's not far away. I can drive there. I'm sure, probably. Could I <laughs> hang on? Could I just steal one of his cars? Oh, that's amazing. Why can't I just steal one of his cars? That's amazing. Bye then. <laughs> I like to think it, Phelps. Call it evidence. The guy's an asshole. Pick it up at the pound. <laughs> oh my god, there's a giant for sale sign in the way. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. Doesn't matter what they do. Whoa! Oh my god, sorry! Oh, unbelievable. Well, they're dead, aren't they? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a guy selling paintings back here. Doesn't matter what they do. <laughs> I like how that's worth turning around for. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> okay. Whoops, too late. Whoops, too late. <laughs> you see, it says it will severely impact your end of thing report, but it just never seems to. Man, these fences are tough, aren't they? I think, I think, I think they're fucking dead, whoever I just hit. I think they're dead. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it just never ceases to amuse me just running people over for no reason. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. Oh, it's a fake address. Oh. Interesting. That is interesting, actually. Where do we go from here? Hmm. We have to go back to Coombs, I suppose. I don't think we can go anywhere other than back to the guy at the car lot. Hmm. That's interesting. Whoops. Oh my god, that car's on fire. I'm so sorry. This car's not looking much better, actually. Oops, sorry. He does tend to have sort of delayed reactions when I hit things, I've noticed. I'll hit something and then five seconds later he's like, oh my god. You're a goddamn menace. There it is again. <laughs> oh no, wait, 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 wait. We have to we have to arrive in the car lot by smashing into one of his cars. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> my work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> so we stole one of his cars, drove around, and then crashed into another one of his cars when we came back. <laughs> I hope he mentions this, because that would be amazing. Hello. Sure I can't interest you in a nearly new car, son? I'm all but giving them away to servicemen and cops. Well, you, I just stole one. Did you not notice? Did you double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? Oh, I see. Hang on.
marquee printing. Okay. Do I do we I guess do we use a telephone to do that? Hmm. Oh, there's a telephone over here. How how convenient. There's a post box I knocked over. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a moment. Sure, I got nothing better to do. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. Any messages? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thank you. Neat. Oh, hang on. So there's a message for me. Okay, we'll go to the police station and do the interview. Um, let's go to the police station and do the interview. I mean, I'm not sure what else that guy can tell us, really. Is that just the guy that we arrested earlier? Because I'm really not sure what else he'll be able to tell us. Um, how far away do we have to go? Uh, it's a fair distance, I can't be bothered to drive. Um, <laughs> let's get in the banged up car. Oh, he has to get out just so I can get in. Hey, 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 what the hell are you doing? Um, come on. Oh, I think because he can't get in, it's not working. Hang on, let's let's steal a different car. You know the way. You can drive. <coughs> hey, hey, hey! What the hell are you doing? Well, if we've stolen one car, we might as well steal another one. <laughs> That's just funny to me. Like, hey, I'll just steal the car. Why not? Another oh, this is a different person, is it? Oh. That's interesting. No, he's not in the exit, is he? Where's where's number two? That's the secretary's room, okay. Where's Oh there's some signs here. Into room two. Interview room two. Uh an interrogation, I like it. I want a lawyer. It's my car, I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Paper is real enough, Velasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Hmm. So the actual papers is that fucking marquee printing company, isn't it? Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. <laughs> um. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Velasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. We're talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. <gasps> Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. I think we've got a lead. Ah, oh, okay. Do you know this guy? Is the name Jean Archer or Lady Rather? No, nope. never heard of her. Um, you want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Jean Archer. Okay, he seems to actually be telling the truth about that, surprisingly. Well, I suppose at this point he would tell the truth, logically. Uh. 
What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just deliver them. Um. Give me something, Velasco. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole state of your child while I'm here. Oh my god. Oh my god, why would you say that? It's terrible, don't do that. I mean, he looks like it, but... Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Up your ass! Mainly in these downtown. Um... Okay, he's being shifty and weird. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up, now. Place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And do what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. Yeah. Uh -huh. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. That was enlightening. This is interesting. Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here. I wrote it down. What's going on? What is going on with this? This is interesting. Down there as soon as we can. Oop, we just flip the paper around for no reason if we're so inclined, okay. I'm glad that I have this option. Mm -hmm -hmm. It's like it's an old style uh, photograph, like, oh, I just gotta waft it a bit, you know, just get it, get it to air out, there we go. Hmm, we're getting some juicy leads now. Uh, Marquee. Let's go to the printing company because there's definitely something going on there, and then we'll check out the industrial street lead. There's definitely something going on at this Marquee company. But then, okay, no, let's. I've changed my mind. Let's go to the industrial street, and then when we get there, we might find. Oh no. Oh no, we ca we can't actually go there anyway because we don't um we don't have the exact house number, do we? Okay, we'll go to the printing company. Your GTA suspect Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, two fifty three South Hill, less than a minute away down the street. If you run. Oh wow. She won't hang around. Oh god, this is from a different. Oh wow. Oh okay. Okay. Oh shit! Come on! Come on! Get in the fucking car, Blavsky. Jesus. Oh God. Okay, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, don't want to lose her. yeah, just for once, it would be good if I could drive Slow the car. What? <laughs> Do you want me to go quick? Do you want me to go slow? Jesus. Um. Yeah, try to run her over. Uh-oh. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Someone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. I don't want that lipstick coming off of my dick. my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of impressed that this is a real person. Actually, I just assumed it was a fake name as well. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Hmm. Ah, oh, hang on. You're lying, Jean. You want to prove that, Buster? Try and prove that pink slip is not real. Well, I think the fake address is the main issue. Look, this is all just a big mistake. I don't want to talk anymore. Just let me go. Oh, <laughs> never mind. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? 
Um, I don't think I mentioned his first name. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? Oh. <laughs> make this hard on yourself, Gene. Let's see how you handle the hard times. Okay, I wasn't as good as that end of you, I must confess. <laughs> you ridiculous hat. Oh god, he got run over by the car, you d <laughs> Look out for the car, he wasn't even looking. Oh. I mean, if I was driving that car, he'd be dead. Because I'd have deliberately turned into you. <laughs> oh. I mean, I've been drink driving. Considering how bad I am when I'm not drinking, and I am drinking, the Zyzevik, as we've established, I wouldn't trust myself to buy a car even less than usual. Evermint. I don't think you tried very hard with that name. Right, where do we go? Uh, oh god. Actually, where do we go? What's our next? What's our objective? Where are we going? Out in the town. Now we're going to the printing company. Okay. Eh, yeah, just a variety. Let's take this car. <laughs> you can steal the car. I'll just get in. Out of the car. Police. I make it. <laughs> I make I make I make him steal the car. <laughs> She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. <laughs> I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man <laughs> is human after all. Now, we're getting some. Yep, I'm with you on the blondes. Brunettes are fine, too. And there's nothing wrong with a good red. <laughs> but I draw the line of red. <laughs> I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. <laughs> and high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. I like Belaski. He's he's fun. He started out a bit crotchety, but he's grown on me. Mm, I muted the microphone so you wouldn't hear me belching. You're welcome. Although, if someone wanted to record me belching and then auto-tune that into a song, that'd be good. You should do that. Uh-oh. We're at the printing company. Shit's gonna go down. What are you up to? What are you hiding? Okay, oh my god! Okay, I didn't expect that to work. Um, uh, oh my god! I forgot this was built on the GTA engine. You can just walk into people and they fall. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this is hilarious! Oh, his hat fell off! Ooh. Oh. He popped. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, let's, let's see if we can go for, it, for a, 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 a spare. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Strike! <laughs> I've discovered a new game and this is the best! Oh, can we make him fall into the car? That would be painful. Oh no no didn't 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 quite work that time. Can we push you into him? No. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, that sounded painful. Oh, look at the blood. You could presumably kill someone by doing this. Oh well. I'm bored of senseless violence now. I just love how there's no consequences for beating people up. Where are the bodies? I mean, traffic, traffic detective. Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contracts to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate. Oh, that's a good idea. Not recently. Uh. Out forgery. There's no shortage of talented artists. Oh, he knows something. He knows something. So keep it in mind. Hmm. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Actually. Actually, is there any evidence around here first? 
Always look for the evidence first. Always look for the evidence. Actually, can I walk into it and make him fall over? Blah, blah. No, no. Uh, no, I don't think there's any evidence. Oh, hang on. This is possible evidence. No, this is an empty room with nothing in it. That's that's okay. Out the way. Out the way. Right, what do you know about this? Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing well, like What? That? Why would I know about this thing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't... Dis I'm not at liberty to discuss my client's illegal car thefts. <laughs> um, why would I know about something like that? I'm not sure I have evidence, necessarily. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, oh. detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Oh, this is significant. This seems significant. Um, where are we getting the pink slips from? Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Velasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Um, okay. I, I believe, um, actually, <laughs> wait a minute. Hmm. What were the names? Cliff Harrison, James Belasco. Oh, hang on. I think we can get him on this. You sure about that, Mr. Lightball? You sure you've never heard of them? Are you making an accusation, young man? Do you have any kind of proof? Uh, what about... James Blasco? My word is my bond. Character is in short supply these days. You could do with oh. being a little. Never mind. <laughs> I should have just queried him, shouldn't I? Okay. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Whitehall? You would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Um... Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Over here. Oh, hang on. Outfits. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Whoa, I can change outfits. I mean, they're. <laughs> Do they. They don't look very different. I don't I don't know if changing outfits does anything. I don't think this accomplishes anything, but they okay, I guess it's a nice option. Hang on. Best worn while rubbing shoulders with movie stars. Oh, I don't fucking care about that. Where's the ledgers? Come on, where's the ledgers? Show me the money. Well, I trust you've got all that you need. Oh, it's back to the surgeon simulator screen. <laughs> it's like, it's like caressing, caressing the erogenous zones. <laughs> Here comes the aeroplane. How do we do this? Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Um. 
I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Uh, recurring names. The ones in red, maybe? Maybe a name I should recognize? Oh my god, this is gonna drive me mad. Can I use a, um, intuition? I bet the ones in red are probably significant. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Address not required. Does it does tapping this not mean anything? I can just tap it endlessly, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Wait a minute, 58 Industrial Street. Oh, oh, this guy's name is in here twice. I certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Oh, there we go, that's what it was. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. We'll let you know when the subpoena arrives. Do I need to run this name past uh, the phone booth? Mr. Bigelow. Actually, no, we've got his address from the book, haven't we? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay then, partner. <laughs> Let's go! You're behind the wheel. <laughs> Let's steal his truck and go! I just find it endlessly amusing that you can just steal people's cars and just there's no consequence. Why not? The best one was that car dealership because I, I was like, off we go, steal his sports cars. Oh. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Give me a few seconds to get around. Yeah, I bet there's something going on here. This is a bit. This goes deep. There's a lot of contacts we've been talking to about this one. I'm not sure why they're so suspicious about this place. I guess it's just because the same name has appeared, it seems incriminating. Cole Phelps, LAPD. <laughs> All of you are coming downtown with me. Okay, right, they're in for, in for a fight. Oh, I got him. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. I think we got him. No, no, he's still. <laughs> Surrender now or I'll use Delhi Force. You already shot him. Where are they? They're over there. This is giving me horrible flashbacks to playing GTA 4 and the un. Just tedious fucking gunfights. Simultaneously too easy and too boring. I mean, I guess that's better than Vice City, where the, the combat was brutally difficult at a certain point in the game, but uh, that's just because the control sucked. Oh, I've taken a few bullets without even realizing. The thing about this combat is, there doesn't seem to be any reason to move. You just stay in one place and shoot them, and you have infinite ammo, so... Oh, I got him in the brain! Where's the last guy? Is he over there somewhere? I can't actually see him from here. Yeah, this combat is pretty brainless, because they just appear on the map, and you have infinite ammo and regenerating health, and you just wait until they pop up. And any minute now, I've cried out loud. Oh, there he is. Come on, I think you'd surrender at this point. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's clear the 
I thought that's how you like to be drilled. <laughs> nope, okay. How do we get to the top floor? No. Oh, the, the stairs probably. Oh sh oh god, that's my partner, sorry. <laughs> oh Oh. Oh my hat, my precious hat. Man, there's definitely something going on here. How much are these guys being paid that they're willing to, especially after we've killed 10 of their friends, how much are they being paid that they're willing to go through all of this? Come on, pick your hat up, yes. There's an Indiana Jones game on the PS2 where you can pick your hat up and you get a bonus if you beat your if you beat a level with your hat. I always remember that because I thought that's hilarious. You know that's 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 true to Indiana Jones. So even when you're walking around like this, you can look behind you and if it was really weird, or oh, you can pick up a weapon. Okay. Oh my God, this doesn't seem like police procedure, but what do I know? You just pick. So what next? So what next? Search the place, Phelps. We're looking for so what friends. next? You kill all the fools. I've got a fucking shotgun. Oh. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. I was, I was, cons I was tempted to shoot him, but I'd probably just give me a game over, and I'd have to redo the whole action sequence. Hmm. Uh. So, do they steal cars and then give out pink slips, I guess? You'll get nothing from me. Everybody looks at that. What more, more is there to do, really? Unless you want me to search the whole building. Oh, there's another room here, okay. A funnel! Incriminating. No. <laughs> I knew it! A funnel! No, I don't think that's relevant somehow. Well, now that we've brutally murdered everyone in the building, I think we can uh, do some investigation. Oh, where do I look though? This is huge. Let's just show all the clues. I've got a bunch of intu intuition points. Oh, there's one over here. I see. I thought they'd appear visually on the screen. No. No. Okay. Do, 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 do. It's a nice idea, the intuition system, because it just means that you're not stuck looking around all over the place for the one clue you missed. Oh, on this table. Uh huh. Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Oh, Gordon. Uh. Lightball has been on a losing streak. Oh, I see. It always comes down to gambling with these cases, and he's been losing money, so he must have given in to the mob or something. Pink slips and stolen cars that lead right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You you're far too lame. Like you're far too lame to be the head honcho. Uh huh. Uh huh. We know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem. I'm suspicious. Don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal. And I order them. Hmm. 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 I want a 
mouthpiece. Oh. The organization employs a very good one. Oh no. Good job to keep a Mickey C out on the streets. Oh well. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow. You're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just want you to tear my place up. I cocked that up. There was too many clues. I mean, they fired the first shots, so I don't feel too bad about killing all of them, but you know. Hmm. Right, let's go back to Gordon. Da -da 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 -da. This is a bit, this has been a wide reaching case. Da -da 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 -da. I bet the mob are involved, I've probably just cocked it all up. Back. <laughs> Back in the crime mobile, which we stole from a printing company. While we're returning their truck, they probably want it back. <laughs> what a mess. Uh, <laughs> gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone. There. Well, we shouldn't bring Gus to work with us. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. I am impressed how these guys can continually kill like six suspects and then just drive away like, eh. <laughs> the forensic guys will pick that up, don't worry. I feel like you'd be expected to sit around and like give a statement as to why you shot six people, but uh, I don't know, American police works. Seems pretty accurate, actually, I suppose. Well, there was a story the other day about police in America shooting an unarmed black man in his garden in the back seven times. And apparently they thought his phone was a gun, and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was in his own fucking garden, and he shot him seven times in the back. I don't think there's... Unless he had an AK-47 on him, I don't think you're getting out of that one somehow. Oh dear, just the state of America sometimes. I'm just thinking of um, uh, Jimi Hendrix playing Stars and Stripes now. Is that, just that distorted Stars and Stripes is just so iconic. My obvious guilt is getting annoying. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. Uh -huh. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. How about the betting slips with your name on them? Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. <laughs> Da, 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 box pink slips. Well, he already knows about that. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small. <laughs> I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need, need to shut up now, Lightbulb. <laughs> I like that burn. You need to shut up. You with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. <laughs> the LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, writes crime correspondent, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. Is this After the case that finally gets us upgraded out of traffic? Dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? I want to finish reading this. <laughs> hey, congrats. You killed six people. Well done. <laughs> hey. I think we can do one more case. 
Like, seriously, that didn't earn us a promotion. It was a nationwide operation we busted. We don't get a promotion for that? Come on. Come on. Hmm. We can't be stuck doing traffic crimes forever, can we? I do like that even when you beat the mission, it tells you this is how you cocked up. I have to tell you, though, there's no actual penalty for just smashing everyone and running everyone over. You just get a, a lower conduct score, I guess. But it doesn't really... it doesn't actually affect you in any way. 